Frog and the Treasure. Let's hurry up and finish our breakfast, little bear, said Frog. Today we are going to dig for treasure. Dig for treasure, said little bear. What does that mean? Come with me and you'll find out, said Frog. We're going to dig a deep hole, he explained. We're going to dig and dig until we find treasure. But what if there isn't any treasure, said Little Bear. There is always treasure, said Frog, I promise. All at once, Frog stopped and pointed at the ground. This is where we'll find treasure, he said, right here. How do you know, said Little Bear. I just know, said Frog. Frog started to dig. Little Bear watched full of admiration. It looked very hard work. Soon enough, Frog was tired. Now it's your turn, Little Bear, he said. Little Bear wasn't sure, but he took the spade. And bravely he began to dig. But the spade was far too big and much too heavy for him. This is useless, said Frog after a while. We'll never find treasure at this rate. Give it back to me. So Little Bear watched while Frog dug deeper and deeper until he could hardly be seen. Frog, called Little Bear, is there any treasure yet? No, not yet, came Frog's voice from far below. Careful, Little Bear, here comes a stone. But Little Bear couldn't hear. He leaned over into the hole and in he fell. There they sat in the deep, dark hole. I'm hungry, said Little Bear. I want to go home. We can't, said Frog quietly. This hole is too deep. We can't climb up. We're trapped. And Little Bear started to cry. We'll be here forever, he wept. I'll never go fishing with Rat again, and Hare will miss me so. Frog was scared too. He didn't know how to comfort Little Bear. Be brave, Little Bear, he said. Let's shout for help. Someone is sure to hear. So they called and called, but nobody came. Then Frog had another idea. Let's sing, he said. Let's sing a sitting in the hole song to cheer ourselves up. The moon rose, the night came. Frog and Little Bear sang and sang until they were so tired that they slept even though they were far away from their own warm little bed. Early next morning, Duck was out for a walk. When she came across a mountain of sand, how very curious, she exclaimed. This wasn't here yesterday. Then she saw the hole and went to find Pig. Pig leaned over and called down into the hole. Hello, is anybody there? Yes, we are, shouted Frog and Little Bear together. It's us, Frog and Little Bear, we can't get out. I think we should go and fetch Rat, said Pig. Duck hurried off, shouting at the top of her voice. Rat, Rat, come quickly, Frog and Little Bear are trapped in the hole and they can't get out. Red knew exactly what to do. He fetched the leather from the barn and he and Duck hurried to the scene of the disaster. Red lowered the leather into the hole, which was so deep that soon the leather disappeared. Climb up, little bear, called the animals, and frog you must follow. Don't be scared, we'll help you out. Carefully, little bear started to climb. When he was close enough to the top of the hole, his friends pulled him to safety. Then it was Frog's turn. Everyone cheered when Frog's head appeared above the ground. Hooray, they shouted as Red helped him out of the hole. But what were you doing down there? asked Hare anxiously. Such a deep hole is extremely dangerous. We must fill it in at once. It was me, said Frog quietly. I promised Little Bear we would find treasure, but there was none. Now there's just a big useless hole and it's all my fault. Frog was so disappointed. Ah, but you did find treasure, said Red solemnly, kneeling down and picking up the stone lying nearby. 
This stone is more than a hundred million years old. He polished the stone on his sleeve until it gleamed. Then he handed it to Frog. Frog could hardly believe his eyes. He beamed with pleasure. Thank you, Rat. He said proudly. But I think this is Little Bear's treasure. I shall give it to him because he was so brave and because I promised. The end.